So surprise, surprise, for those of us who claim to have a green thumb, it's not always unicorns and rainbows. Today's video is all about understanding what is going on with my alocasia poly, trying to save it. This used to be once sort of thriving and very healthy looking plant. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler. If you like what you're hearing or you find this video to be useful, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, subscribe to my channel. So let me remind you of the splendor that once was this Alocasia poly. So let's get started. Um, so like the uh, Maranta, the, this plant as well also prefers a slightly acidic um, soil. Not long after filming that video, my husband and I sold and moved out of our condo. For those of us who have houseplants, transporting, storing, and just sort of generally managing our houseplants during a big move is frankly daunting and can be a little bit complicated. Because we were moving from a condo into new construction, the timing between having moved and sold out of our condo and moving into this new construction house left us basically in hotels for about two months, still in a hotel right now. This meant making the really hard decision to keep and store all of my houseplants in my husband's lab. Okay, so that's the backstory, and this brings me to the current state of my alocasia poly, which frankly is completely disheartening. As you've probably already noticed, there's some bad news, there's some better news, and there is some good news as well. So let's get the bad news out of the way first. As you can tell, the leaves and foliage for the most part are dying. The leaves have yellowed and browned on this poor plant. On the bright side, there does appear to be some new growth, but what you need to know is these plants can and do go dormant. Understanding if your plant is dying or if it's going dormant isn't always a perfect science. Changes in light, temperature, humidity, and soil moisture can all lend themselves to dormancy and potentially a dying plant. The good news is if you have a healthy growing Alocasia poly, there are some very specific things you can do to avoid dormancy. The first thing you are going to want to keep an eye on and avoid is letting the soil dry out completely. Second thing you'll want to avoid is any sort of fluctuation in light and temperature. Ideally, you are going to want to keep those summertime temperatures, that summertime light constant throughout the year for this plant to avoid dormancy. Third, avoiding fluctuations in humidity is equally important to avoid dormancy. You're gonna to wanna to preserve that nice level of humidity year-round for this plant as well. For me, because of the move and not quite fully understanding, the dormancy potential for my Alocasia poly is ultimately what led to this current state. However, I am not going to give up on my African mask plant just yet. So there are a few things I can do in the interim, um, not fully knowing whether or not this plant has gone dormant or is starting to go dormant or if it's in the process of dying. Um, so let's get to that now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to address the dying and dead foliage by using a nice pair of scissors that are nice and clean to remove all of this dead and dying foliage. So just, you're gonna wanna cut it right off at the base, um, just like so. And you can see here that there's some previous leaves that have also, um, you know, passed away. So just removing all of this from the plant is the first thing you're going to want to do.
All right, just like that. The next thing I'm going to think about is the soil and the soil moisture level. Now this soil is starting to dry out and I'm going to continue to allow it to dry out until it gets really nice and dry. And then I'm going to store this plant in a nice, cool, dark place for the remainder of the winter and as early as late spring or early summer when the temperature increases, when the day gets longer and there's more light because the sun is out longer, then I'm going to bring this plant out of that cool dark place and really hope that it can uh, revive itself at that point in time. Some folks do say that due to the fact that there is new growth on this plant, that it could be more likely that it is dying than going dormant. However, that being said, you just never know. I'm going to give this a chance and hope that, you know, this plant will survive and, you know, continue to live and hopefully, you know, come back to its former glory. For those of us who live in the Northeast, you know that it gets dark in the winter at about 4.30 p.m. and the temperature frankly sucks. Um, so all of these things can obviously lend themselves to a um, higher chance or higher probability of your alocasia poly going dormant. There is another thing that you can do to check whether or not the plant is dying or if it is going dormant. Now that is taking a look at the plant's bulb. If the plant's bulb is soft and on the sort of mushy side, then the chances are the plant is dying. If that bulb is not soft and mushy, then you know the, the chances are that it's probably entered a dormancy period. If you have any questions about your alocasia poly, please leave them in the comments down below. I hope you found this video useful. Miss you already. See you next Saturday.